<clears throat> hey, home bodies. Renee from Insane Fit at Home and DreamBodiesGym.com. This is the workout breakdown for today. I just finished, way hotter than it looks, 2010 intervals. So five couplets, each repeated. Oh, my arms are so tired. Four times before you move on to the next one. So burpee, mountain climbers. Burpees, mountain climbers. Four times. Burpee dive bombers, four times before moving on. Burpee jump switch lunge. Burpee flip, flip and crab right, four times. Burpee flip and crab. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah. So I shall. I shall. All right. So if you're actually a member at Dream Bodies, you'll see something that I do frequently, which is, you know, not very professional, but there's not a heck of a lot I can do about it. Sometimes when you're training and you're pushing yourself pretty, really hard, I forget, like, how many did I do? Did I do four rounds of burpee mountain climbers or did I do three? I don't remember, and I can't see worth squat without my glasses, so this is just impossible. I put my glasses on, I set the timer, and then I take it off and I press the button. And as far as being able to look to confirm whether or not my little noodle brain has gone four rounds before I move on or not, so somewhere in there I added a round. I think I added one by accident in the first, and maybe one of the flipping crab rights I added because I had to reset it for the last two flippers on the bottom. So, is press, you got 10 seconds to get ready. Burpees with the push-up, and I tried to make every single push-up where my chest actually squished onto the floor, okay? Really wanna try hard. The only variation I have is sometimes I do tricep push-ups, sometimes I do wider uh, hands placement push-ups for triceps, chest, triceps, chest. Okay, so go fast, go as fast as you can. So you're doing your burpee. All right, get that sucker in there, get all the way down, okay? Don't lay down though. We're not doing those kind, okay? And push, right? And then right into your mountain climbers, which were, I, I call these strict mountain climbers or real cl mountain climbers, but then again, some other people call those reptile ones strict mountain climbers. So I'm just gonna show it. And that's keeping your bum down. Neck long, try not to be looking under like this. Switch, 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 switch. So if you use your abs, really use them to make that switch. You shouldn't be kneeing yourself in the boobies. Anyway, then um, dive bombers. Everybody knows a dive bomber. The best way that I know to make sure you're in the right position for your dive bomber is to set up with your legs just outside of your, the edges of your mat and your hands underneath your shoulders, maybe an inch or two wider than your shoulders, okay? And from this position of plank, then hike up your booty, okay? And the weight's in the heels of my hands. And I'm gonna go face and up, and then chest and back. Try to avoid coming through, and then just doing this little tiny noodly thing back. Try to get that same depth and full range of motion in both directions. Um, and there are various modification levels. One, of course, the most popular one is to swoop through, and once you get to this position where you lock those shoulders down and squeeze everything, a lot of people just down dog back. But ladies, you can do a swoop through, right? You can do your, so set up, do your swoop through, and then if you need to, put your knees down so that you can still get that range of motion going back, okay? And then just hop up again because you really want to be able to use that whole shoulder, all the muscles there. Okay, instead of just constantly reverting to the down dog, drop to your knees and swoop back. And then pop up, swoop through in high position, drop to the knees, swoop back, so your body gets used to using, moving that way in the reverse position. You'll gain strength in smaller increments, but you'll gain it nevertheless. Um, I'm so hyped up when I just finished a workout. Burpees and jump switch lunge. So just keep your core super tight. Okay, try to make sure your feet switch in line with that shoulder. So you're, okay, it helps you keep the balance. If you switch with your feet too close to each other, you're gonna lose a lot of balance. And this is actually a somewhat of a squishy mat, so it challenges me even more. Um, I think it's a Pilates mat, because it's got some, a little bit of squish. Okay, it's about a half inch of squish. Okay, so, and then we have the flipping crown, which is really important because 
If you have issues with your shoulders, doing this particular exercise might be contraindicated, and or if you do it wrong, you could screw up your shoulder. So what you want to do is, I'm going to follow my right leg. So I'm going to come up here, okay? I'm going to use my abs right here. As I pick up, as I go to thread my right leg through, I'm squeezing the bejeebas out of my abs. So as I go to do that, I'm going to lift this hand off the floor, okay? And so that means I'm going to push out of this shoulder. See, pushing out of that right shoulder, push. As you squeeze your abs, as soon as that hand goes down, you're going to extend, woo, as if you're doing a one-legged down dog. And then you're going to pull it in using your abs, okay? Stay up and out of that shoulder and control the flip back over, all righty? So you're going to pull through and push, and then pull through, staying out of that shoulder, all righty? So that's really important, because if you try to go through that motion too fast, or you're sinking down into your shoulder, it's going to be that crack, you're going to be grating on the shoulder, and that's really bad. You can get pinched in your neck and everything. So, if anything, that was just right at the end, because you like dying, then you get to the end, and there's more shoulders, but we're off of the biceps and stuff, so that's cool. And you, the heart rate can come down a little bit so that you can finish with good form. Okay, so take your time. Go crazy on your burpees, but take your time on your flipping crab. Take your time. You may only get to flip four times in 20 seconds. Maybe three times, maybe two times if you're really focusing on getting the move right. Don't rush through your flip, flipping crazy crabs, okay? And I hope you enjoy it. Bye.